Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, a slightly different video here today, as you might have seen from the thumbnail or title. Yes, this is a sponsored video, as you might have seen in this corner or that corner, I'm not sure which corner comes up now. But uh, yeah, it is a sponsored video. Now, I think it's the first time I've clicked that box for a sponsored video. I never did uh, this before, so we'll see how it goes. But the reason why I've never done sponsored, sponsored videos before is you're going to have to get to the end of the video. The reason is because I just want to get done with this and there's no point for me to bother you now at the start with the reasons why. But there is good reasons and I think very important reasons. And you will understand why I don't do sponsored videos. This was, slightly, this was a slightly different case. And again, at the end, I will explain you and you will see why I decided to make this one and not some other ones. But anyway, that's not important for now. So the video today is on this tool. There we go. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, not long ago, I was considering, and I actually have a few saved on my uh, on my uh, list on a web on a well-known website. Anyway, it was not this model, but I was considering to buy another multi-maker tool. So you all, you guys know that I own, I have a few of OEM stuff. I'm quite well covered there. Um, but on a multi-maker tool, sort of, uh, you all guys know what I use. So there's no point for me to uh, be talking about those. Uh, but I was considering to buy another different multi-maker tool. As we all know, some tools, they do some things that others don't and vice versa. And I think this is a quite well-known brand. Uh, to be honest, and I was thinking about giving it a go. It was not this tool I was thinking to give it a go, it was a way higher range. Um, but this tool, I think, is not too bad. The initial tool I was offered to review was actually a cables with cables. You all know my opinion about tools with cables, although when you go OEM, you are a little bit more limited. Although most of them nowadays they, they can do uh, with no cables. But my reply to that was literally this. So, uh, yes, I, I, I said, look, no chance I'm going to try tools with cables. It's, it's absolutely pointless. Um, I don't like it. And, and, and I mean, it's not that I don't like it, but they, they, limit, they limit your freedom a little bit during diagnosis. So they offered this. So this is the tool. I don't think there's personal details here no there isn't well is their personal details so this is a tool guys uh, that they sent me the test is the there we go all the way so i think this is called crp 919 ebt uh, the bt i believe is for bluetooth and uh, no wireless is bluetooth is wireless in the sense that you don't need the tool to be attached with cables to the VCI, but it's not wireless in the sense of Wi-Fi. There are some tools out there, they, the connection to the tools is, is Wi-Fi. This is Bluetooth. Majority of them, to be honest, is Bluetooth. The only difference is that Bluetooth is a little bit slower um, depending on what you are trying to do. Anyway, let's go and open the box. As I said to you, I haven't opened the box even. So this is going to be, guys, a live experience, a live reaction, if you will. To the tool so it's going to be live um because i haven't checked it and then unfortunately that bmw at the front uh that you might see in the future um uh, is dead <laughs> i have a battery for it but literally the car came running on the alternator power as soon as i turned it off that's it was dead nothing would come on completely dead um but we do have a voxel uh astra we do have a my vox of course uh, and we do have the Audi TT. Oh, we have the M5. Might be able to give a quick test on the M5 as well. Now, I don't want to make the video too long. Because uh, otherwise you're not going to watch it. Um, and also, very important, uh, guys, if you are at the end, I will my going to repeat it throughout the video. That's what this video is for. Uh, if you want to buy this tool, if you find that you could do with one, I will leave the links in the description below. That's the wall idea of this video okay so let's gonna start guys let's gonna open this and see what we have 
Okay, so first thing I'm gonna say is that when you compare just the box with my other tool, this is small. Small doesn't mean it's bad, it just means it's small. Now, the first thing I would say about this tool is that if you... I think this is, is a tool that's more uh, probably oriented for DIYers, people at home, and maybe small garages. Um, I guess if, if I guess that's the idea of this tool. Um, and it's good if you, if you are at home, look how small this is. Uh, I don't know, I have my X knife here. Look, it's like not much bigger than my Stanley knife. Look at that, you see? Um, and not much taller. So it's really it's a really small box, which if you are a DIYer, you just want to keep this in the corner in the house, is, is ideal. So now let's gonna open this and see what we have. So, okay, okay. Let me actually put the phone in a different place so you can see things slightly better, maybe like that. Face it down a little bit. There we go. Look at this. Right. So what do we have here? So on this side, we do have... Oh, it's all on backs. We do have actually a cable, a USB cable and a OBD, OBD2 cable. So I'm going to guess that this is, if you want to, yeah, it looks like it is, if you want to connect the tool with cables. Okay, so that's good. Uh, it's good because uh, the only reason why I think this, this could be good is because if you are working on a car that for some reason doesn't, doesn't have power into the OBD port, you can still power the tool by connecting directly. You never know when the OBD port has no power. So, the VCI is relatively... Oh no! Actually, I was completely wrong! Okay, so, this is a shame. Okay, so, actually... Okay. <laughs> right, I was wrong! But it's still good. So what you have is you have this cable. This is going to connect to the VCI right here. Connects here. And then you screw these things, which I will do later. And then you connect this to the VCI, to the, to the car. Okay, not bad. Again, but you still, if you don't have power on your OBD port, you're still saved by this. You can put power here to power the tool, the, the VCI, sorry. So, either way, I was wrong. Just remember, first time I'm opening this box here, yeah? uh, and first time working with this tool, or actually, first time working with any other tool than the ones I use. Apart from when I did, when I used that uh, Artipad, which I was told was actually a copy of a launch tool, which probably it was, because I never worked with launch, I couldn't tell. Uh, and I think I had, experience with one or other two different tools in the past this is the first time using any other tool so we have this we do have power supply there we go power supply and then we have some silica and then we have some paperwork user manual etc etc that's all we have here okay so not too important we have a usb cable yeah, a USB to A to USB C. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's all we have here. And then on the other side, we do have. Now just remember, guy, guys, if I'm doing anything wrong, or if I'm saying something too early that I shouldn't, just remember this is kind of live, because I never, I haven't. I could make this to be really good by editing, etc. But what's the point of that? Right, the tool. Right, the first thing, the tool is quite heavy for the size. It's actually heavy for the size, I tell you that. Wow, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheap. I'll tell you that now. Let me put this up because it's weird that you don't see. It's heavy for the size. 
I was expecting this to be way lighter way lighter I tell you why is it feels I know it's not really important but sometimes it is important because you, you 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 grab something and you know the the first impression the first feeling about something it is important and I tell you it is when you when you pick up these you think it's gonna be it, it is heavy okay anyway moving forward quality wise yeah, it looks all right actually it doesn't look yeah it feels good quality feels okay this is kind of rubber here not soft but it's kind of hard rubber this bit here on the side is also rubber and then this red bit is plastic hard plastic but it feels okay at the back we don't have nothing that comes out i think looks like this is a cover but it isn't I think this this rubber. I think this is a tablet. This must come off somehow. If you, yeah, it looks like you can take these off here on the corner. You see, starts to split. I think you will be able maybe to change the battery on these or whatever. Uh, you have here some ports at the top. You have a USB A, and then here you have a USB C, and the VCI is. USB-C there we go so you connect I'm guessing this cable is to connect the VCI to the tool if you need to power these as well maybe I don't know or maybe some functions you're gonna need to connect directly I'm not sure anyway on this yeah that's it and then on this corner you have the power button so it's gonna power this thing there you go it powered up A small screen for what I'm used to it's a, a really small screen and guys what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go through it's first time I'm turning this on obviously as you've seen I'm gonna go through any setups that I needed I will get it all set up because there's no point for me to be here bothering you with that so we're gonna set up the tool and then I guess I'm gonna see you on the Astra and we're gonna see what we can do with this okay I need to find a way to pull these without pulling the screen protector. Uh, how am I going to do that? I don't want to take the screen protector. Just this. Come on. Leave the screen protector in there. Because I love screen protectors. Oh, still recording. <laughs> right, I managed to remove that without taking the screen protector. So, as you can see. So, the first thing... So, this thing would work straight out of the box. Uh, you wouldn't have to do anything. Um, there is, however... Uh, the first thing I've done was connected to the network. Because there is, indeed, some updates, as expected. So, I'm going to take the tool through the, all the updates. There's no point for me to try to test the tool. Um, out of date so we're gonna update everything and then yes we're gonna walk in there it feels really small it's it is i mean it's weird to me to grab a tool so small but we'll see how powerful this thing actually is and we'll see what we can do with this at least on a couple of cars here you go So the tool is all up to date apart from two updates. I think it's Mercedes and something else. They are quite big. So I just, I can't wait anymore. I've been here now for about an hour to update. It was 95 updates available, uh, plus the actually software itself. Um, so one of the things that just thought to mention is that the, the size of the towel is a little bit deceiving because you have all these black sort of trim around this sort of uh, edge around that is not screen uh, so the screen obviously only starts th underneath these buttons up to there but it is what it is anyway from here uh, so this is your main menu you have nothing else here um you have obviously a lot of this is quite self-explanatory i don't need to take you through the only thing i'll show you is other modules it has all these other functions here okay so again quite self-explanatory uh, service functions is direct functions for things like, well, you can read and you can see what they are for. Okay. There we go. Uh, and then you have here on the mall. 
So it looks like, so I'll show you how much it costs the update. So it looks like you can buy, <coughs> sorry guys, it looks like you can buy separate, separated, separate, separated, separate software for, for certain things. So like you can buy McLaren for $76. You can buy Borgward for 76 So it looks like they don't include... They don't include all the softwares. There's some softwares they make it pay for it um, extra. You have for EVs as well. A little bit here, as you can see. Uh, you have commercial vehicles as well. So a little bit of a note here. Okay, so that's that's probably for the voltage. Uh, you have something for immobilizer. Not sure. There we go. The folding software needs to be combined with Xprog 3. So, there we go. So, the Xprog 3, that obviously we don't have. We have all of this stuff. You have some reset stuff here as well that you can buy separately. There we go. Okay. Then you have motorcycle and others. Others you have motorbike package. Then up here you have service update. So uh, the renew is six hundred and ten dollars. I think this is for one year. Uh, then you can. But the, the beauty of this is you can actually break it down. So which is actually good. I like this idea because, like on my other tool, when you update, you need to update the full thing, even for brands that I never used. There's loads of brands like China brands and some other brands I never used. Uh, so I could well do by just upgrading the softwares I use the most. And it's beautiful that you can do that here. So you can buy five of your choice. So you can buy five updates for $183, which probably won't cover most of you guys or most of the updates you might need. But if you go for 10 or 15, that probably covers most of the brands I work with. So this, I like this idea of, uh, of splitting it like this. You can use a renewal card, then you have other goods, which I think, yeah, it's not in use yet. So that's it. Intelligent Diagnose, I think, is some sort of online assistance for Intelligence Diagnose. We're just going to go straight to Local Diagnose, okay? And we're going to go... Gonna go where? European. So it doesn't have auto. I thought this would have some sort of auto uh, automatic detection, but looks like it doesn't. You can do it here by the looks of it. You can do, let's say, voxel. There we go. Right, how do I take the keyboard out of here now? Yeah, okay. Oh, he's there. No, he's not there. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, so it tells you a little bit about what the functions, etc., etc., what you can do. List of covered vehicles. So it gives you a little bit of information uh, when you select the software. Not all systems covered. Uh, so obviously some sort of... Uh, Okay, some sort of disclaimers, etc. So let's gonna go search Bluetooth. Okay, connecting. Okay, so it's connected to the Bluetooth device. You're gonna turn the key on. Okay, so automatic search. That was quick. Okay, let's gonna do. System scan. I don't know if this does the entire car. Yeah, it looks like it goes through all the all the modules.
So it tells you the battery voltage, which I like. Okay, it tells me some of the stuff that is now equipped equipped with. And I think that's it. So that's the last module. So it gives you a list of modules. Nothing out of the ordinary. If you go to engine. Uh, that's a very good question. I think this is the... Well done. So, okay. So it didn't detect the correct engine. I don't know if this is the 1.6 or... Let me see if it tells me here which engine it is. What? So I need to select what I want to see before I see it. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> okay. K20. So I think that's the 2 liter. K20 I think is the 2 liters, isn't it? Anyway. Let's go back. Okay, so the live data doesn't show you the live data straight away. You need to select whatever you want to see, which, okay, is different than what I'm used to. Okay, it's nice. Okay, not too bad. Okay, you can see on the graphic, uh, on the graphic, which when you do that, it takes you off that screen and shows you only, looks like it shows you only that one. Okay. Okay. Can I select more than one? Looks like I can't. I can. Oh no, I actually can. Look at that. Okay, so you can select several. I can select. Okay. That's good. So I can combine. For okay, so I can combine up to one, two, three, four. I can combine up to four, which is good. It's not bad. I can take that one, select a different one. There we go. Then you have everything here combined, which is good. Quite helpful, as you guys might know from my previous uh, videos. Uh, this is live data. Activation tests. Yeah, so nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, one thing is relatively... Let me see transmission. This is an automatic. It's relatively quick. I like this bit. It is quick. It is definitely quick. And I can tell you, um, it is quick because I already scanned this car with one of my other tools. And I can definitely see the difference. Let me go to, let's say, I don't know. Maybe body control module. This is a... Hatchback. Yeah, that's correct. I knew about these codes. That's why the car is here. Okay, so... Are you sure? Are you sure to clear faults? No, I don't want to clear faults. Oh, then. How, this, how does this work? So, code search. That's probably to go online. Okay, so when you press to go back, it gives you the option then to clear the codes. Uh, special functions. Okay. Okay, not bad. Quite impressed so far. Looks like a few good good things. Let me see airbag. It is quick. I tell you that this thing is quick. You can press a report in there. No, I don't want to say that. How do you cancel? Oh, okay. 
Okay, so read fault codes. Okay, we've been there. Special functions, configure new module. It gives you a few options. Um, what else uh, that we have here? Let's say instrument cluster. The, um, guys, this thing is fast. I tell you that now. It is fast. If you are, again, if you are DIYer or you have, you work on your own cars, this thing is really, is really nice. So let's kind of get out of the. Ooh, okay, I will not forget the, the VCI. Okay, so let's gonna get out of the Astra. Let's gonna get onto the TT. And we are here on the TT now. And there is one thing that I oh let me turn this off. Uh let me turn oh. I don't even know my own car. Uh there's one thing that I kinda Oh, just me being petty now, which is this. So if I want to keep the tool like this, let's say if I'm driving, I want to look a little bit at the light data or whatever. I don't have how to keep it like this, and there's nothing at the back that I can. It could have something here to keep the tool like sort of in an angle, but let's not gonna. You see what I mean? Okay, so let's gonna go to. Uh, Audi. Okay. Okay, so well that system scan. Okay. I'm guessing he's detecting the car now. There we go. He detected the car. Later to do the scan is not as fast as it as it is on the Astra, but but obviously we are talking about a older car as well. So just finishing. It took a little bit longer than the. Than the Ashra. Well, you probably can see track the timing there. Uh, but overall, still tried to scanning the parking aid, which doesn't exist. Overall, it's all right, not too bad. So uh, let's gonna go to engine. Or oh, it doesn't allow me to go until that's finished. I'm guessing. There we go. And now I think he organized everything in order. And I think I'm going to climate control. Okay, gives you a little bit of uh, information here. When you log in, something different from the answer. So I'm guessing each brand is going to be slightly different. So it gives you module information. So not, yeah, same as the other stuff here. Yeah? Not much difference. Of what codes? Ah, what have I done? Okay, login. That's it. Online login. Hmm, interesting. Okay, looks like there's some. Um, online stuff that you can do with this not sure what but oh well let me go here
it is definitely not as fast as it is on the other one so it gives you some information here coding etc I can't remember if this is my login. I don't think it is. Oh no, this is to try to click to login. Login failed. Hmm. Not really sure what this is supposed to do. Yeah, exit. Anyway, guys, this is what it is. This is what the tool does. And. To be fair, I'm quite quite happy with it. Um, nothing too special, but guys, is for you to go around and again, as I said, if it's your own car, it's not too bad, uh, or your own cars to, to work on your own cars, or if you have a small business, it's it scans, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, yeah, let me just check one thing here. I'd like to see what this does. This health health report oh, okay so that's gonna do a full scan again and I guess it's gonna give me some sort of report there we go so it starts to scan and straight away tells you if his fault codes or not at the finish and there is the report so I do have a fault on the cluster something for a key I'm not sure what that is this code I know about it and let me see if I can actually get into the oh it's still scanning that was finished so okay there we go so it pulls up the, uh, the oh that's fine so instrument cluster incorrect key programming I know about that one then we have central locking yeah I know about this alarm triggered okay and I know about the alarm horn because it's disconnected and that's it really so oh, it gives you an option to google straight away about the fault but from here you can press enter that should take me straight into the module in this case the central lockings 35 there we go and indeed it does there we go from here you can do code search you can do help Gives you a little, okay, so it gives you a little bit of uh, explanation. Code search surely is going to go online. And then what's that in there? Okay, that's it. So in this this case here, for example, this one slightly different. So you see the on the voxel when you press return, he asks you to clear the codes. Here you have obviously one to clear the codes. No fault codes <laughs> until they all come back. So, um, mm, interesting. Code module, basic settings. Yeah, the old, the old style. I'm not going to bother too much with these anymore. I'm, I'm quite happy. I'll give my final thoughts and then I'll tell you why I just accepted to do these. Uh, this video my final thoughts on this tool again CRP 919 BT okay um, guys this is my opinion if you want a tool to work at a professional level where you're gonna be working on cars from 9 till 7 9 till 7 9, why did I say 9 till 7 9 till 5 whatever if you want a tool really to be working heavily on cars I don't think this is the tool for you. Uh, I, I definitely don't think this is the tool for you. You might want something a little bit bigger uh, with more screen space uh, because all of this is quite compacted and 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 and, and etc. I, I might do not recommend this tool. Um, if you want a tool, if you are again, and I'm going to repeat myself. If you are a car owner and you want two or three cars and you like to work on cars you know from time to time whatever definitely this is a very good tool 
it's compact it's small as i said to you the box is behind me it's really small you can store the box in the corner and that's it it's easy to work um, and the fact that it's wireless is even better and because obviously you can have this connected and the tablet elsewhere you can come to the front of the car doing activations check live data which when you have cables all around that's why i didn't want cables this is actually good um the fact that you can upgrade the software in different packs if you will it gives you the option to update like five softwares only or which is is perfect because if you own only two cars and you have two different uh, makers let's say i have the bmw the audi and the Vauxhall, so I could buy the the five uh, brands pack for under than eighty odd pounds. Update those softwares. That's it. I don't need the other softwares. Um, while if you have something like my other tools, you need to update the entire tool machine, even if you just need a couple softwares to be updated. So I really like this idea. I think other makers, other brands should do the same. Um, and yeah, I, I think the tool is is does what it does it's good um and um yeah i can't really say anything bad i think the only thing you're gonna have to wait now is another thing that i'll say is if you are mobile and you go to a car you just want a quick bang 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 this is definitely the tool i think will do the job and then if the job requires other tools maybe you need to do some programming something else you might need something with a j2534 or a pass-through box then you might get your other tools out of the box but for a quick scan this thing i think will do the job and i think is really good so that's my thoughts on this tool again guys links in the description below if you want to buy the tool that's why this is a sponsored video <laughs> my first sponsored video let me know um, how i'm doing and um and now I'm going to explain you why I accepted to do this review or to present this tool and not some other ones. So I'm going to explain you that now. And now the reason why I accepted to make this video and this sponsored video and I have never accepted to do, to do it before. I think I did one few years back where the, most of the, item, the items, I think it was three items, they didn't worth the box they came they came on and uh, that company never got in touch again uh, but they were aware that i told them i will say whatever i want about these these tools so that's what it was um but i got contacted or i get contacted by a lot of companies and uh, the issue i have with some of the other companies is that one uh, they make you to sign a contract that's not the end of the world it makes sense they protect themselves and they protect me in a way um but they make you to sign contracts and like in any contract you need to read it and you need to go through the the the, the, the fine prints and you need to read everything carefully and the issue i have with some of these companies is that they will I'm, i don't want to say dictate but they they kind of limit what you can and not and cannot say about the product you are reviewing or the product you are showing um, a lot of them a lot no a lot of them majority of them they limit what you can and cannot say and let's face it if a product is good i don't have a problem to say it's good if the product is crap i'll say it's crap but some companies they'll not allow you to say that uh, and once you sign the contract you are bind to the contract so you cannot you know and if, if 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 you don't fulfill the contract then you are in violation of a, a legal contract and that can be problematic and i don't want to put myself look this is a part time for me obviously uh, for you may may might may, may not be for you but um, this for me is a part time so i don't need the asshole so a lot of these companies that's what they do some companies they don't make you to sign a contract but they give you very clear instructions, very clear instructions on how they want the video to be structured. They, some of them even give you bullet, point, bullet points and some examples of what to say at each stage. And I don't know why I don't like videos like that. Um, I don't like uh, script videos, if that makes sense. Um, I just like to get the camera, start to record, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, and that's it. Um, 
and, and and even when they don't make to sign your contract they as i said they are they, they structure the video they 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 make sure or they want you to say certain things at a certain point and not say other things they don't make to sign the contract but they put it somewhere when they they ask you how, how to how to elaborate the video and i don't like that these guys um link in the description below um these guys literally they just went and they just go no nope, we'll send you the tool you just do the video that's it and here we are video is done and um now i don't know if i'm gonna have to send the tool back then this is no longer a sponsor video but we'll see how it goes uh if i if i keep the tool the review is done you know what the tool is and i might use it on uh, on some videos in the future why not um and that's it so that's why sometimes i don't make these videos or why i don't make these videos uh and um uh, yeah that's it that's what it is so i think that's it for this video guys again um if you if you want this tool link in the description below okay do i really need to say this so many times <laughs> right we know for the video guys hope you enjoyed the video there's nothing here to learn i guess unless you want to learn about the tool go in the description below um and like always guys thanks so much for watching